Hello, Mark Leslie here, and I'm testing out the um, new thing I'm going to be launching on uh, April 6th, on Friday, April 6th. I know it's a Monday today, and this is called Free Friday Frights, but this is just a test. What I'm going to be doing is every Friday I'm going to be sharing either a free story or on alternate weeks I'm going to be sharing a free nonfiction article. Uh, that I have written. It may be something that was previously published. It may be something that has yet to be published. It may be something I just finished. The whole idea is to share a free Friday fright with you from my bucket of writing and encourage me to keep producing new material. So the format is going to be relatively simple. I'm going to introduce what I'm going to be reading. I'm going to read the thing, or if it's a nonfiction article, most likely I'm just going to talk about it. Then I'm going to give you a little bit of a behind-the-scenes uh, story um, of the story, of the article, whatever. And then if there are live viewers and they ask questions, I'm going to answer some questions. I think that would be fun. So um, in the interest of just testing out this entire process, I thought I'd start off with uh, you know, the reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the poem, The Sound of One Man Screaming, uh, which is relatively short, just so we can get through the whole process and understand it all. It's kind of fun, isn't it? The sound of one man screaming. A pen is lifted from a cup that waits patiently on the edge of the desk, sometimes in haste, sometimes with measured care. The pen is lifted, perched between three fingers, and brought down to kiss an empty page. A blank computer screen glares, the incessant whirring of a hard drive fan, an undying, steady, rhythmic pulse, both mocking the absence of activity in the room, until the distinct sound of fingers clacking the keyboard announced the presence of words on the screen. A coffee mug filled with a simple black blend, sometimes full, sometimes cool, often touched merely for the comfort it offers, overlooks the entire process. If you listen very carefully, you will hear more silent than the sound of the steam rising off the coffee, ever so gently, the sound of one man screaming. Now that was uh, the sound of one man screaming from the book One Hand Screaming, which is a collection mostly of short stories and some poetry that was originally published in 2004. Now I wrote the sound of one man screaming um, mostly for inclusion in this uh, book. I had been working on it from years earlier, just been a piece of writing I'd been kicking around with. And then when I produced the book, I thought I would finish it off and, and make sure I included it in the book. It was based on my writing space um, that I uh, most, most of my life have always had. I had a computer. Uh, back then, it wasn't a laptop. It was a desktop computer. I had uh, always had pens uh, handy, of course. I had a, uh, an old coffee mug that was a pen cup, and I had pens and pencils there at the edge of the desk. And I had, as I always do, a trusty coffee mug filled with that rich, simple black blend. And I um, always had those with me, and I was trying to capture the struggle that a writer faces when they're facing what people call writer's block, where they're just waiting for the things to happen and they're, and they're struggling with that. And then that, that breaking moment where they move from not having written to having written, which to me is always the most wonderful feeling for a writer. And in uh, the online posting at marklesley.ca slash um, free Friday frights, you, what you'll see as a placeholder is you'll see this poem, and then you'll also see an image, which I'm always going to include uh, with the story or the article. And the image I shared there is an image of a skull cup tattoo that I have right here on my left arm. Now, 
I remember it was in the um, early 90s. I was probably supposed to be studying for an exam for university. And I had uh, the cup, pen cup, the mug, and a sketch from a horror magazine um, of a skull. And instead of studying, I started doodling because that's what I do sometimes. And what I did is in the doodle, I kind of merged pen cup and the mug and the skull together, created that drawing. I really loved it. You know, obviously the skull cup with the pen sticking out of it. I really adored that. I didn't know what I was going to use it for. I just knew I was going to use it one day. And so I ended up using it in 2014 when I got the shoulder tattoo. Because I thought, why not have a unique tattoo that nobody else is going to have? It's my own artwork. Uh, I'm not a good artist, but it's my own artwork. And it's a piece of art that I'm really, really proud of. And I thought that backstory and the poem would just give you an idea of the kind of thing I'm going to offer on free Friday Frights. If <clears throat> there were live viewers, I would check to see if there are any questions. So I'm going to pretend that there's live viewers. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Uh, Brian from Tacoma asks. I'm trying to read it. I should put my reading glasses on. Brian from Tacoma asks. Uh, why are you doing this on a Monday? I'm like, well, okay, I guess I explained a little bit earlier, Brian. Uh, I'm doing it on a Monday because, you know, isn't it nice to think about Fridays on a Monday? Um, doing this just to test things out. But thanks for asking because you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. And then, oh, 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 uh, George from Hamilton. Hey, hey, I lived in Hamilton for a while. Hey, George, how are you doing? George from Hamilton asks, have you written other poetry? Uh, yeah, George, I actually have written other poetry. I had other poems that appeared in the collection uh, One Hand Screaming. I've probably written maybe 60, 70 poems. Maybe only had half a dozen or so published. I do like poetry. It's just an extra type of writing that I quite enjoy. And uh, Sue Ellen from Washington. Hey, Sue Ellen from Washington. Sue Ellen from Washington asks, what is the first thing that you're going to post when you start on April 6th? Well, it's going to be fiction. That's all I'm going to tell you for now. Thanks for asking, Sue Ellen. You can check out more at marklesley.ca slash free Friday frights. You can check that out where for 24 hours you're going to be able to read text of the story. If you want to have me read it to you, whether that's painful or a good experience, you can check that out on my Facebook author page. Other than that, thanks for checking this out and have a